Hello, it's me, Aki Sonia Olavite Nitayo. I am glad you are here and I warmly welcome to you to another interesting section of our graphic design tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll be creating the design that we have on the screen using our Corel Draw. And uh, before we go into that, I would like to recommend to you, if you are a visitor or you are yet to subscribe to our channel, that you do make sure you subscribe now and then make sure you turn on your notification so as to so be the very first person to receive uh, notifications of the videos that will be posting and i'll be uploading anytime soon all right so um without further ado let's quickly get to work and uh, we uh, get our design done as soon as possible all right so um the very first thing to do as usual is to launch your color in different size. So in this video, in this tutorial, we'll be using this um, size is 12 by 12. Okay. So you can also decide to change your size or you come to this side and then you choose your preferred size. Okay, but in this tutorial we're using 12 by 12, right? So the next thing to do is to drop tab on a rectangle to so not to draw a rectangle around our workspace. Okay. Then um, let me quickly copy out test I want to use for this uh, tutorial. So I have like, those tests here. So let me quickly copy the thing, right? Click on your test tool and then you paste control to paste. Right. So, so let me break them. Press control key to what to break. Alright. Now good. So now let's uh, before we start positioning our test, um, let's quickly uh, work on our background first, right? Alright, so these are the images I'll be using. Let me quickly copy them. Now we'll come back to our corridor and then we'll paste that. Okay, now let, let's quickly back click this image. Um, right click on this background and then drag it into our workspace. Okay, or better still, you click on it and then you right click on it, then uh, you click on power click inside. Okay, you point the arrow into the workspace. All right, then we'll right click to edit the power click. Okay. Okay, then let's drag this back a bit. Alright, then we'll click on our transparency tool and then we we'll change this normal to soft light. Alright, good. Then we we'll click on finish. Alright, then we right click on we click on the workspace and then we we'll remove the outline by right clicking this up. Okay, then Alright, so as it is now, this brush is a kind of um, PNG version, so we can't change the color not to do anything to it. So, so what do we do to it now? We click on it, then we come to bitmaps, then click on mode, then we click on uh, black and white. Alright, then take this to somewhere here, then click on OK. Good. Now, then we Right click on it and then click on outline trace, then click on high quality image, then click on reduce with map. Okay, so you can click on specify here. If I need to make adjustment on this, so make sure that your screen is like this, alright. Then we click on click OK. So let's take this out here and we delete this. Alright. Now, the next thing to do is to there is a weld it. Alright, then we power click this into it. Good. Then we right click and then click on edit bar. 
So let's increase this. So why increasing pressure shift key? Let's um, want to trim off some water areas of this. So let's draw kind of rectangle around this side. Then yeah, you press your sheet and then you click on the background and then you click on um, trim. All right. So do the same thing with this edge here. So trim. All right. Now let's let's keep this one my here. I still need it. So let's bit map this. Okay. Then we blow it. So you click on effect and then click on blow, push and blow. So you can maintain system one point two as your blow. Just click on OK. Alright. So let's increase this a bit. Then we trim up your wanted area, clicking your, your ship to the right. Let's do the same thing with this. Yeah. So you zoom, make sure that this background is the ground. I mean, it's in line with this background here, right? Next, you want to do is to draw a rectangle, okay? Right, then you press your shift key and then the background. Press and just press C to make sure that it is well centralized. I press E to make sure that it is well centralized, okay? Then uh, you click on this small arrow contour, then you drag it inside. Right, press control, then click, uh, return your two back to picture, then press control K to ungroup. All right, then click on the inner one, then press a shift down, click on the outer one. All right, then press um, trim. Okay, then you do it the inner one. Good. Now you can change the color to whatever color that um, you want. Okay. Let's remove the outline. Make sure you know how to remove outline. Then this now, let's part pick this into it. Right. Then we edit the power clip. Make sure the data part of it is somewhere here. But next you need to do is to click on bitmaps, convert it, convert it to bitmap, they will blow it. So let's give the blood 36. So 
I think the glory just is looking like this, all right? So we make the glory just 36.5, okay, equal to okay. Yeah, okay, 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 Then uh, you click on your transparency tool, and then I will change this to color bond. Let's pick this up. Good, all right. So you can see that this uh, the frame now now blends with the background that we have now. All right, all right. Now let's take in the text. So we change the font to Manhattan Extended. Okay. So let's make this size two or four. Okay. Then press the shift scan press um the way background picture that is well center. Okay. Then let's take test up the beat. Press your page of the test is up. Alright. Then let's bring it in night. So use the same font. Use the same uh, text, I mean the same size. This is two for this two. So let's go to it and use this a bit. Alright, so you make sure that the boats are aligned, okay? So to so confirm the boat aligned, you press the shift key and then click on the lower and then press C make sure the boat aligned. Okay. The next thing we need to do is um, let's work on each test. Alright. So now before we do that, let's um Let's copy the other background again. This background. We are using this background almost to the right. Let's get to stop right here. Right. So we'll power clip this into our test. Okay. Then we edit the power clip. Next, we need to do now is to give this love, give, give it shadow. You click on this, then you click, click your draw shadow tool. So you drag it now a bit. Like this good. So you bring this down. Right, then you change the color. So let's ungroup it. Control K to ungroup. Control K to let's ungroup it. Control K to ungroup. So you can see that we've unhooked the shadow from the test. Now the next you need to do is uh, let's work on this test. So what do we do? So you click on your contour to drag this up. 
feet right click it like this and you press ctrl click to ungroup so now you pitch up the inner one then you press your shift key and then click on the outer one which is the big one okay then you click on trim all right so now you delete the inner one Now let's edit this low. This is about the power Then we copy the background that we have here. We'll paste it out here. So we want to power clip that background into the night. So now we need to duplicate this. Okay, how do you duplicate? You can press Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it. Alright, then you bring it down. So while I'm bringing it down, make sure you press the Shift key. Alright. Now what next we need to do now is to uh, convert it to bitmap. The one you bring down, you convert it to bitmap, alright? Then you click on your on, click on effect, then blow it. Don't share blow. So let's use a twelve point nine. All right. So we use twelve point nine. Okay. Just to make sure that we have a kind of reflection of the background. That's what I'm trying. To, I mean, of that night. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Uh, the next we want to do is to bring in um, the picture, to so bring in this image. Right, so we'll page it up. So make sure it is in the center. Right. So we need to we need to bring the picture down a bit. Right, then this now we are like this and then page it off. Okay, and you can see that this is already covering the picture too much, so we reduce this a bit, bring this down a bit. Okay, let's take this two of the bits. by the image all right then we increase this a bit good so i want us to complete more magic okay so what do we do the girl's clothes color is like pop Alright, so we want to change the color to uh, something else. So we click on uh, effect, then click on adjust. Okay, then click on replace color. Alright. So let me let me reset this. Okay. So all you do is you click on this. 
okay, then you click on this color eyedropper part two, and then you select the color that you want to change. All right, which is this purple. Then you now click on this new color. All right. Then you click on your color eyedropper, and then you select the color. Then you click on your color eyedropper. Then you select the color you want to change it to. All right. So we are changing it to red. So as you as you want to change it to maybe black. Can select any color you can see. Can select black here. All right, you can see that the color, color is changing to black. So we want to use red. So click on uh, red. All right, so that the picture will be able to blend with what we have. But let's see if we can use something kind of red here. Red. All right. Then what do we do? So we work on the range. Keep increasing the range. All right, so you can see we are okay like this. So I've changed the color. Okay, make sure you check it out and see if it really blends. Then click on OK. All right. So I think it's okay like this. What else do we do? Next for us to do is to position. Let's position this low. Okay, press the page up to bring it up, right? And we'll reduce it. Okay. So let's blow it. Click on effect. Blow. So it's too. This is too much. So reduce it to something around eight. Yeah, I think uh, this is okay. Pretty cool. Yes, I think it's going to be okay. Then it's okay. Good. And what else do we do? Um, let's get the log again. What else to position it somewhere there? Yeah. All right. So we convert this to this map. So we. Let's try to increase the blow a bit too. Let's increase the blow a bit. Okay, let's okay. Then we pick map it. Then uh, we increase the saturation. So we click on effect, adjust, then click on uh, you saturation and light so just increase the saturation and bring it this you can see so you increase by this so it will keep changing so I want something a bit dark so that we to, so that we, to blend with our background this is so dark Let's see this. So let's work on the lightness so we can so we can see. So let's just uh, use let's make it like this. Okay. Then now we increase it. Take it this way. Okay. 
crazy for me. So there's a let's be clap beats. But before we get clap, I need to begin to let's be clap beats. So let me trim off the unwanted area. Alright, so let's do the case it's somewhere here. So you press the shift key, you press R, I mean L rather, to make sure that it's align left. Alright. So this now we can work on the brightness. So let's go back, effects. Adjust and uh, saturation. So let's reduce the lightness. It's too much. So all the lightness to play with the background this free. test here so we change this to white we'll page it up now this we change the font to galano this is this galano all right press your shift key and then press your background to make sure that center okay then uh, these two we change the fonts to Galame as well then we make sure we reduce it to make sure we follow hierarchy okay all right reduce it to there's a bit all right then all of this your life pen then we change the font part to uh, Galano. So in your design, make sure you avoid using too much of the font. Okay, make sure you avoid using too much of font. Like one or two, like I use just like a maximum of two or three fonts is okay. In your design. Don't use don't use too much of font. Okay, so now click on your rectangle tool and then draw a kind of Rectangle here and then put it quite a bit of a as a kind of um, bullet, okay, or the marcation between the texts. And we copy it. So 
So why do you get make sure you press your shift key? Okay, so that it won't be jumping up and down, right? I think we are good to go. We are almost done. We're only left with the dates. We only left with the dates. So first I want to do something here. So let's position, let's put in these tests. Okay. As a presenter of the uh, events. Okay. So change this to red. Change this to red. Now we need to do one small work here. So we draw the rectangle around this side. Okay. Alright. Click on the rectangle and then click on this cell three. Okay, then click on three. Alright, so can see that as three marks are part of it, the way put. So that's what we want to achieve there. So now the next thing I want us to, I want us to, to work on is the dates and the, the dates and the time. So what do we do to it? So we are still going to use this one. Alright, so we break this. So we break it. Control D to upload. So we increase this. So this. Alright. We will make press C to make it centralized. Alright, so we draw a kind of rectangle around it. Okay, so we curve the edge. So we let's copy. Let's copy this background here. Let's place it here, and then we'll pack it into the background for the dates. Okay, then we align all of this, then we'll page it up, and then we'll change the color to white. Alright, so you can edit the part if it is well not You can edit the part if, if it's, it is not well positioned the way you want. So, I think. Uh, this is okay. Alright. Maybe it's okay like this. Okay. Then we'll click on uh, finish. Good. So let's remove the outline. So we use it this way. So we can. to apply shadow okay so you click on the background and then click on the shadow drop shadow tool and then drag it like this like this okay bring this down and then you change the color change the color to this right but it's too much so we still need to reduce it. 
to the straight thing. Yes, I like this. Right, I think I'm okay with this. this so you can uh, repeat this this side okay then uh the test okay so you we type in 10 pm right so this we break it then we'll press Ctrl K to ungroup. Alright, so let's analyze this tool and then change the font. Then go to Galant. Okay. And this, take it inside. So we can now like this okay I'll press now uh, see I like everything it together and press it which like it well centralized so we bring this down why we increase this All right So before we go, let's quickly do something. Let's add a kind of effect to our design. Okay. So you click on your um, uh, edit tool, you draw a circle. Make sure you press your control to write drawing the circle. Okay, we'll change this color to yellow. We we'll remove the outline. Okay, then you come to effects. So you blow it. Alright. Okay, took it like this, okay. Then I'll we'll bring it in. We'll bring it into our design back. Let me duplicate this. So I want to blend this bit map this. Okay. So I want to blend the light effects. Okay. Let's blend this this off. Alright. Good. Then we bit map it. Then we'll do the same thing for this edge. Okay. Let's map it again. Alright, then we'll do the same thing for this page. Good. Then we'll bit map it. Alright. Then we click on our transparency tool. So we can use we can also use screen. Okay. Also use screen. Or better to use a value. So let's use screen. Okay, screen is okay. Kind of reflection like text. Okay, so we now indicate to somewhere here. All right, this is not too much. 
let's reduce it. So let's see if Valley will work. Yes, I think Valley will work more better than now. Um, that's green. Let's change this to Valley. If it's okay like this, good. Now we delete this, so you can have a duplicate of it somewhere here. Somewhere here, we kind of like this reflection. Okay, good. Brilliant. We are almost done. Actually, there is one thing I want us to do again. So let's do this. Let's do this pretty good. Cool. Don't like it is. All right. So we click on our contour tool again to so bring it down. Okay. Then I will press Ctrl A to ungroup. Okay. Then we click this and then the now the uh, the now one that power one then we trim it. Okay. Then we delete this. Good. Now change this color to red. And then we. I'm trying to redo it because of this edge. I don't like the way it is. I mean this edge because of Father, we trim this off so it does not blend well with the background. So, the good graphic design, I have to make sure you pay attention to details. Okay, so now I want us to let's remove the outline first. Then, uh, we love the we go to the good. So, let me press C, share this in channelized. All right, so we click on the then we click on this and the press and shift key and click on the frame, then we um, trim it off. Okay, then we remove this. Good. Now what else do we do? Let's bring in our ground. So we put the background into it. Then we edit the power and edit the power clip. I see the difference between the two. Good. So now let's 
blend it, we click on our transparency tool and then come to this normal and change this to color bond. Alright. So let me cut this and I remove the other one. Okay, let's take this out. So let's page this up. Okay, and we'll page this up. Good. We'll page this up. Good. So you can see the difference. You see what you'll be able to do. Right. So now let's position this very well. Good. So it's as simple as that. So guys, um I'm sure you agree with me that this design is a bit more beautiful enough. So um, I'm sure you must have learned one of the things from this video, right? So please, I would like to recommend to you that if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on the notifications so as for you to see more updated of videos that I'll be posting anytime soon, right? And then I'm sure you know how to save to save press control s to save please make sure you give this video a thumbs up because i'm sure you must have learned all of the things from this video right so i will see you in the next video do have a lovely day bye